what's up guys it's Kathy and I'm back with another process video and this one is for paper issues and it's for a new um, challenge that we have going um, called try it Tuesday and uh, every try it Tuesday there's gonna be like a new technique or an item or something that you know might be a little bit out of the ordinary for some people to try um, this time it's fabric of any sort so it could be an actual fabric it could be something crocheted it could be even twine or um, maybe embroidery thread or different things like that um, and as you guys know <laughs> I do use like ribbon and all that kind of stuff a lot anyway so not really a, like a new challenge for me but I decided to use that opportunity to try a different kind of fabric that I have seen people do on layouts so I'm gonna use some tool uh, which you can find in like wedding craft sections of stores and stuff like that I just bought some white um, I figured that was the best jumping off point and if I liked it I might uh, buy some more colors and I'm going to work with a lot of different, <clears throat> for the most part, a lot of just different Maggie Holmes collections. Um, like, for instance, the bow background is from Shine. Some of the papers that I'm working with are from the new Chasing Dreams uh, collection. I'm going to cut apart that whole cut apart sheet. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. But I just decided to cut the whole thing apart. And now I have it all cut apart. So <laughs> good for me for getting that done. Um, and I'm going to use, I think, almost everything, if not every single embellishment, is also from a Maggie Holmes collection. Some are from older collections. I think I even have a bit from the Confetti collection or something like that uh, going on in it, too. But, um, yeah, I don't end up using this green paper. And the reason I picked it out was it did kind of match some of the bows. And it is really cute. Or maybe I do end up using it. Well, maybe I do end up using it in the background. I think I do. So it's the only thing that's not make. Oh no, maybe I don't. <laughs> it's the only thing that might not be Maggie Holmes. I can't remember. I'm pretty certain I do, but of course, it's so um, it's so minute you barely see it. But it does match. It's from Crepe Paper Wonder. It's a six by six paper pad that I just happened to have, and I knew that that green and pink floral would match what's going on in my background. And I loved that six by six paper that's all the uh, the cards. So as you can see, I'm just kind of testing it out, seeing how I want to do it, what's the best way to go about doing that. Um, I'm gonna pop my photo up just in case I wanna tuck stuff underneath it. And I, for me, the best way to do this was to keep the picture and the background piece and then that six by six uh, page make it into one and then wrap uh, I think I end up switching the way that that's wrapped yeah um, I think I just do it so that both sides are kind of even uh, so I have like the same length of tail and I just kind of do like a knot or two <clears throat> and I'm making sure not to pull too too tight that's kind of the trick uh, if you pull too tight, you're going to uh, make everything curl. So you got to kind of pull your bow tight without pulling the tool tight. And I let it kind of um, flow out. So, um, so it kind of almost makes like this little pocket, which I really liked and thought that that was like a great way. Now, of course, it's going to be uh, dimensional so I put some dimensional foam underneath it and then it's like okay well we both <laughs> well we all know uh, tape is probably not going to be the best let's get like a good glue so I decided to grab my glossy accents I could have used my Tombow I just don't think I knew where it was at the time and I just went to town making sure that it was on the foam and the tool so of course now that I'm pressing it down the tool is sinking into the paper and it's all gonna go down and I just put something kind of heavy on top and let it sit for a little while just to guarantee that it that it did that. Um, this is Maggie Holmes Gather Collection items and I think Chasing Dreams stuff, I think I have them combined in one of my little uh, photo cases. Um, I don't label them because once something is 
used up, it'll change into something else. Um, I think this is actually two different collections as well. I think this is confetti and I'm going to say open book uh, together. I don't even know why I have those. <laughs> those those ephemera. I don't know. I think I just bought them because I always try to buy as much ephemera as possible because I like to embellish a lot. So I do use, on average, more ephemera than I do um, paper sometimes. So uh, have lots of paper. Don't really need to buy any more paper, but I keep doing it. <laughs> so I just grabbed anything that I liked, anything that kind of matched. The ballerina has nothing to do with anything. She uh, She's not in ballet class or anything yet. I don't know if she's going to want to. <laughs> she's a bit of a little artiste and performer, so who knows um, what she's going to want to do. This was taken um, on her birthday, on the day she turned five, and I was just... We were, we were just having like a special birthday supper and uh, because we were doing something else on a different day for her. And so I, after we were done, I asked her to come out and so I could take a few pictures of her. Um, I got good pictures of her. I was disappointed that I didn't get really good pictures of my son when he turned eight, but uh, he turns eight in January. So we had to do it inside and they just weren't that great, and he didn't really want me to take his picture. I don't know why, but she's she's so weird. She likes to hold things in front. Well, she's not weird, but I know a lot of kids that do this. They like to like hold things in front of them when they're taking pictures or different things like that. So she's got a little feather, and I'm pretty certain it's just a feather out of a pillow from in the house, and she's holding on to it, and she's holding it up. And so, yeah, I don't know why she's doing that, but she just wanted to, and then I asked her to to do a few where she wasn't doing that, but uh, the one with her holding the feather actually turned out the best. And I'm actually using the depth effect, so the portrait uh, mode uh, on my iPhone 7 Plus, and that was kind of like the whole reason I got, well, the camera and, yeah, the camera was pretty much the entire reason I got an iPhone 7 Plus over just an iPhone 7, and I am happy with it. Uh, I know some people have asked in different Facebook groups if people like their iPhone 7 Plus. I do. I really like mine. Um, I have, I'm so glad they went up with the storage amounts because my old iPhone was like 16 gig or something. <laughs> I couldn't fit anything on it. So <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the camera now that they have that new portrait mode. I love the depth depth effect where it blurs out the background. Um, the only thing is you can't do it as like a selfie. So anyone trying to do that, it's not going to work. You can, you have to be so far away from the subject uh, to do it. So just a heads up. I'm going to fiddle around now with what I want to include. I love all the little tags, but they are kind of going to get, their, their sayings are going to get kind of lost. And I don't like the idea of that. Um, Sometimes I don't mind it, but sometimes they have something really cute on them and I don't want to lose that. So I'm just trying to kind of um, make kind of a bit of an equal, uh, what are they called? <laughs> embellishment cluster on the top as I have on the bottom. And of course there's a middle embellishment cluster. So there's, there's lots going on there. There's kind of a triangle. That'd be a really weird triangle. Uh, I know I end up using that swan one and it's mostly because I just love the idea of you know be maybe being an ugly duckling and turning into a beautiful swan but not necessarily like outer beauty that you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> um but I love the idea of of the like a swan um just as she's getting older and and stuff like that and I'm bringing in some of those vellum pieces because they have green in them and I just wanted a bit more green I don't know if I, yeah, I think I do end up using a few pieces of chipboard from Chasing Dreams. I think I use that, that book. I do move it and put something else on top of it, and but I keep it. Um, I don't know if I use, yeah, I didn't like the idea of that flower because it didn't sit well with the, uh, the ephemera flower, if that makes sense. It just didn't look right together so that's why I uh, that's why I did not put a flower there in the corner 
And then I had the little bows from the Shine Collection left over my chipboard, and I just thought I'd make some little dimensional accents that you can barely see, but I think it's cute. Uh, just, uh, I kept the, uh, the tails of the tool kind of, kind of short. Now, of course, this would work really well with a colored tool as well. And just for a little bit more <laughs> fabric, I had this fabric bow that I bought a long time ago. It, and it's, it's flat, so that's kind of great for my, for what I'm using it for. And I, uh, it was already sticky on the back and it's yellow and it kind of matched and I just thought that was perfect. And there really wasn't that much going on in that corner of the photo. So I wasn't too worried about covering up that much of it. I know some people might be like, oh, you covered up parts of the photo. I'm like, I didn't cover up the really important parts of the photo. You can still see your face. Um, I'm bringing out some of my washi tape and this is, it's a gold washi tape and a green washi tape. The green washi tape's from Amy Tangerine. It's from, I'm not sure if it was from her last collection before on a whim, the Oh Happy, Happy Place or something like that. Uh, it was like last summer. I am not sure if it's from that, but it, it came with purple and gold and green. So I don't know if I keep the green on there. I think I do, but just a little bit. Just for more green. I really love that green. It used to not be a color that I was like wanted to use and, and now I uh, yeah now I just really want to use it all the time. More Maggie Home stuff. These are foam glitter uh, words from Shine. Those are from Gather and they're all everywhere. They just they did not stay on the sheet well. I've lost a whole bunch of them and ugh. Anyway, I was just debating what I wanted the title to be, uh, just because I don't always want to have the exact same titles all the time. I don't know if I leave that hashtag up there or not. Seems really weird. I do I do have that today. I, I do move some stuff around. I don't even know if I ever put, uh, what is it called? Baker's Twine in the tags before I take my picture. I don't even know if I do that. That's kind of sad. I usually always remember to do that, but maybe not today. <laughs> so I'm just kind of popping in little things here and there just to make more embellishments that I probably don't need. The five that's clear, the acetate five, that's actually from Pink Paisley C'est La Vie. And I think that came out last spring, maybe, or even before that. Uh, I think it was the first collection that they had when they started not naming their their pa their um their pattern paper and just having it numbered or something like that. Anyway, I do end up using the wish, uh, but I'm actually going to stick it right on the 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 tool and it does stick. Now of course it sits up a bit, but once it goes into the album, uh, it'll st stick down. So it all works out. I had to make my own eye dot because I didn't have one. So I had to cut one. And <clears throat> I think that's pretty, I cut it smaller. I thought it was too big. I think that's pretty much it for the layout, except uh, doing a little bit of high swap color shine. And I actually do it in a really light pink. Uh, I just don't, didn't want to add too much more to the layout. And I thought I was going to do gold and I just didn't feel like it. So I did this light, soft kind of ballet pink. But yeah, that's about it. And I really love it. I think it's so pretty and uh, very sweet. And I hope she likes it. So pictures are coming up and I'll see you in the next video. So bye.